The title of this video is Add a New Data Profile in Prisma Cloud. A data profile is a collection of data patterns that you can use to scan your content for sensitive data. Prisma Cloud provides you the ability to use any of the predefined data profiles or the option to create a custom one. A custom data profile provides you flexibility as you can combine predefined and custom data patterns to meet your content scanning use cases. Let's go ahead and demo the functionality on how to create your data profile in Prisma Cloud. Log in to your Prisma Cloud account and then scroll down and select settings and then navigate down to the last option, which is data. Select the data profiles tab and then to create your new data profile, click add new. Provide a data profile name. And in this example, I would use a generic data profile name such as data profile 2000. You can provide an optional data profile description and then click next. Here you can add your data patterns. At a minimum, add at least one data pattern but you also have the flexibility to add additional data patterns. In this example, I'll add two data patterns. Your data pattern has five options, which are match, occurrence, min, max, and confidence. The match provides the option to include or exclude the data pattern in your data profile. The occurrence applies the conditional logic of any more than or equal to less than or equal to and between min or minimum is the minimum number of occurrences to trigger a match. Max is only applicable when the occurrence type selected is between. So I'm going to go back to occurrence and then select between and then notice how this option is no longer grayed out. Confidence is a content analysis technique to identify content and rate it with a low or high confidence. Once you have customized your data pattern, click next. You should see a summary of your data profile. You should see the profile name, you should see the description, and the patterns that you selected. If any of these options are inaccurate, select the edit link to modify it. Once you're happy with the options, click the save button. Upon successful creation of your data profile, you should receive a success message. Your custom data profile should now appear within the data profiles table. You should see the type of data profile. You should see that by default, the option is enabled, which means that you can scan this data profile. You should also see who created this data profile. And since this data profile was created within Prisma Cloud, that's the option. You also have the option to clone the data profile, to edit it, or to delete the data profile. This completes the tutorial on how to create your data profile in Prisma Cloud. Feel free to check out the docs on the Power2Networks website for more details.